Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. I'm getting my Weber Smoky Mountain fired up. We're gonna throw some mesquite on there. And it's my first time trying to do a beef chuck roast on the rotisserie. So I've got the rotisserie kit hooked up to the Weber Smoky Mountain. And also we're trying out a new product. That's the reason I'm doing the rotisserie on this beef chuck roast. Uh, the folks at Octo Forks sent me their product to try out. So we're gonna be showing you that product here very shortly. They're really, really cool. And uh, also a link down in the description where you can buy them yourself if you're interested. Just hit show more beneath the video. Let me show you these Octo Forks. All right, I apologize for the weird angle, but uh, just trying to get it where you can see it. This is my spit right here. These are the original tines that came with it. See, they go like that. They fill the, you know, go on this thing, squeeze your meat on there. Check out, check out the size difference on these Octo, Octo Forks here. And you get two of them just like this. And when they're closed up, they're about eight and a half inches from end to end. You got four set screws back here. Just loosen them up. You can expand this down or expand it outward to uh, more like 13 and a half inches from end to end. And if you need to close these up further, you can also take these off, rotate them 180 degrees so that these tines are in the middle and these tines are in the middle so they're real close together. So they're really adjustable. They're, they're stainless steel, they're well built and they just go on your, on your spit like this. You know, and you screw them on there like that. Of course, you got the other one that goes on there, like so. Tighten that baby down, and you're good to go. And that is a major difference. That's a huge difference in these little videos. These, these make, it's like four times these things right here, man. That's awesome. Can't wait to check these out. And they're great if you're doing a longer piece, like uh, some ribs or something. These come in handy, because again, you can expand them out like that. Just like that. There you go, folks. You see that? Isn't that amazing? Very interesting. I'm going to do some cooks on these in the future. And I appreciate the guys at uh, Octo Forks for sending them to me. Let me try them out. Let's get that, uh, that beef roast on here. Let's see how it looks. All right, folks, I got a, about a three and a quarter pound beef chuck roast. And check out this fantastic board. This was made by uh, one of my friends, Alex. He owns the uh, Pork Belly Woodworks. It's uh, just outside of Dallas area, but beautiful board, isn't it? Yeah, check that out. Got a little Worcestershire sauce we're going to throw in here just to help keep the uh, seasonings on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of this It's Incredible Heaven Made Products. Again, just uh, click show more down beneath the video or go to heavenmadeproducts.com. When you're checking out, use promo code TROY20. Get you 20% off of these rubs, man. They are absolutely fantastic. Oh, and this one's not open yet. Hang on. Now we're cooking. I'm going to use some of this Texas Best brisket rub. This stuff was fantastic on some, uh, some beef uh, ribs that I did, the Slankin style ribs. Absolutely amazing. So I'm putting layers of these seasonings on here, folks. That's what I'm doing. I'll flip it over, and I'm not trimming any of the fat or anything off here. We're going to let it baste in its own juices on that rotisserie. Again, go on with a little bit of this. Uh, it's incredible. You don't need a whole lot if you're using other spice blends like this, uh, this brisket rub. Just going on lightly with both of them. But make sure you coat it all. You know, get the sides and everything else. So I'm going to do that. We'll meet you at the... Uh, we're we'll smoking mountain here shortly. All right, everybody. I just put this roast on. Uh, again, I got the uh, octo forks on there, and they're perfect for this. Uh, again, when you got longer pieces like ribs or something, those would come in really, really handy. We're gonna check out and see how well they do with this roast. I do have water in my water pan. I got mesquite wood going on there from the smoke, and uh, I'm gonna put the lid on here and just gonna let it cook. We'll check on it every hour or two and see how it's doing, how it's looking. All right, it's been two hours, as you can see. We've been holding right at 300 this entire cook, the whole two hours. Let's check on it. Woo, doggy, doesn't that look good? My word. That really, really looks great, y'all. All right, let's see if we can uh, stop it over here. And this, uh, this rotisserie kit I got from Cajun Bandit, just in case you're wondering, I'll put the link down below in the description box. Just hit show more. Still feels pretty tough. And I got my thermopin here. This is uh, reading 162. Check another little spot here. Uh, it's about 160, 161. Yeah, so we're, I guess right now it's uh, it's kind of 
the muscles are tightening up like it's in the stall but we're gonna go ahead and let it cook for uh, I'm gonna check in another hour we'll see where it's at Octoforks are doing fantastic though folks again that's uh that's some good stuff I like the quality and the stainless steel of that yeah buddy we'll check on it here in a little bit all right guys we've been cooking six hours exactly on this three and a quarter pound chuck roast fixing to stop it let's see what kind of uh, temperature readings we get here yeah it could still go a little bit more but let's see where we're at here we're at 176 right there down here in the other end about 168 on this end 180 well folks I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and uh, just to, just so you know after about uh, about three and a half four hours I started spritzing it with some apple juice and some pickle juice dill pickle juice that's why you got a nice bark on it but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it because we're getting hungry and I've made some homemade gravy and some rice and uh, we're going to uh, have us a little meal here shortly I'm gonna let it rest for about half hour we'll show you plating it up all right gang that's what we got right here and again uh, I didn't let it cook all the way till it got super tender so it's not really you can't pull it apart right now but I am going to slice it let's see if we can uh, see if we can slice some of this up here just see what it looks like it is pretty tender as you can tell but uh, man I man if I had more time I'd have let it go a little bit longer but oh my gosh I'm just cutting across the grain that way it's as tender as you can get it without it being pulled apart y'all check this out man holy moly nice smoke ring that's awesome folks y'all give that a shot man that is that is amazing I'm gonna take this little bit right here real quick I'll taste it here on camera here in a second oh man that is so good hmm all right I'm gonna fix a plate look plenty plenty juicy Plenty juicy. Mmm. That's good stuff. All right, folks. We'll be back here in a second. All right, everybody. It's been about six and a half hours. Let's check out this uh, this chuck roast, man. Tell you what, those octoforks work really, really well. Y'all go check them out. Hit the show more button down beneath the video. Open the description box. Got all kind of links down there for you. Y'all check it out. But check out this plate. My word. Y'all check this out, folks. Nice bark on that. Look at the smoke ring. Homemade gravy with some uh, popcorn rice. And I'll put a link for the popcorn rice, too. It really does smell like popcorn. It's from Louisiana. It's good stuff. Got some, uh, some purple hole peas here as well. But, oh, my. Y'all check that out. That is one fabulous-looking roast, folks. And that bark on there. Mmm, 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 mmm. Is your mouth watering? I know mine is. So, uh, so it took a little while. So it, it gave me time to make a homemade gravy, a brown gravy. I threw some uh, some onions, some celery, and some bell pepper, the Trinity in there, Cajun Trinity. Let's uh, let's check this out. See that bark on there, folks? Nice, nice smoke ring. Now, what I would have done if I had more time. I'd cut these slices up and put them in the gravy and let that gravy cook for about another 45 minutes to an hour. I'd tender this up. But that's jamming right there, folks. Oh, man. The heaven made products, that rub on there is incredible. And the beef rub is outstanding. The brisket rub they got, hmm. Oh, again, heavenmadeproducts.com. Y'all check them out. Use Troy20 for the promo code to save yourself 20% off. Appreciate you, Mike, for doing that for my fans. Mm, 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 mm. You can't be homemade gravy, man. Mm. Purple whole peas. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's some good old southern cooking right there, folks. Mm. Wish you could join me. This is fantastic. And again, I appreciate the folks at uh, Octoforks for sending those Octoforks to me and let me try them out on my rotisserie. They work fabulously. Can't wait to do some more cooks on them with some like some ribs or brisket or something like that. 
So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank y'all for joining me. If y'all like this kind of stuff, y'all give me some thumbs up. And I uh, hope you tell all your friends about it. And when you do, just click that share button. Tell everybody you know that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.